Hello guys, Vengeancer here. Today we're doing something a little different. So, the Prolibus did maintenance. Uh, I'm recording this a day ahead of time because of just how my schedule is. So, Prolibus did maintenance last night, which would have been today. Yeah, like I said, it's day ahead, so today's Tuesday. And there is so much crap in the patch notes. I'm a little overwhelmed, so I figured I'd read through it, kind of go over things, and maybe it'll help somebody else out. I've read through patch notes multiple times, but first off, the few things that I've noticed that uh, are obvious, they've reduced the weight in the warehouse, so whenever you have things in the warehouse, they set in there, right? And if you sell them, so if you list them, it removes most of the weight for those things like it reduces the weight well they've turned that down even more so my warehouse went from being severely overweight to being at 770 so that helped quite a bit that's a huge change uh the other change i noticed is a 70 percent drop rate but uh event 700 percent combat xp and 70 percent uh, life skill xp so that's a very good thing. That is all that is obvious from logging into the game, other than the login rewards that we've had for a little bit. Um, those are always useful. Uh, you'll be getting some new things under your challenges, rewards, uh, some stuff to turn in. I'll go over that here in a second. And then the final thing that's obvious is... Um, this is weird. I don't understand why it's telling telling me to fish there because you cannot get the fishing event. Well, you can get um, these little things. The Seal of Wanderlust. Maybe that's what it's telling me to. Anyway, so there is a fishing event going on, but it's for season only. And... Um, yeah, we'll get into that, so give me just a sec to switch over. We got a huge amount of stuff going on here. Uh, the new season is out. Spring season. Major updates for that, because they've changed it to where you get more combat XP for life skills. Uh, namely, this, this season's spring season's theme is fishing. And so... You can read through this here, but they've uh, increased the combat XP gain from fishing by threefold. They basically want you to be able to level up by fishing. Uh, they're trying to branch out. But it doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense to me, considering that seasoned characters can't equip life skill gear. Um, so, yeah. But they've put a fishing event in. The Colacanth event that they normally do is on season only. Uh, so if you want to get colacanths that are worth 500,000 silver, plus you can exchange them for all this junk down here, you're going to need a season character and you're going to need to fish with it. So I don't understand why they are setting that up like that because, like I said, we can't, uh, can't equip life skill gear, I don't think. So the fishing rod may be a difficult thing. You may have to... I, I don't know. I'll have to test it out. Uh, of course, we got the season pass with all the good stuff in it. And this this season is a spring seal. You can get up to 80 of those, which will uh, be nice. You can get a uh, advice of Volks 140. And it looks like an artisan worker box. So those things look pretty good. And, of course, there's always the weapon exchange coupons and um, some memory fragments, that kind of thing. Uh, they've also made improvements to the weekly quest. They've reduced the number of monsters required for the weekly uh, season quest. So it went from 5,000 to 500. So yeah, they've reduced it across the board by like 80%. <laughs> 90%. That's crazy. Uh, and then... What else are we going to do here? You can get Rift's Butterfly still for this season. 
exchange it for a bunch of stuff. We don't need guides for starting the season. Get some life skill buffs here. Uh, the big thing that I wanted to look at are the events, which I'll switch over to in a minute. They've done a few small uh, class changes. I play wizard, so I wasn't very happy about that because they didn't do much except for awakening. So my succession didn't get updated. Uh, they reworked. Looks like they did an improvement to the uh, torn treasure map piece for bartering. So if you're into bartering, that's good. I don't know much about bartering. Uh, the other thing, the big thing that stood out to me because I'm into farming, they've increased a, when you breed mysterious seeds or uh, mysterious plants, you can uh, get more fruits from that. And then they've also added a way in to get special, um, to turn your special seeds into magical seeds instead of having to wait for them to be bred. There is a shaking recipe now right there. So you take two mysterious seed, one special seed, and purified water times 10. You shake it up and you will get a magical seed of whichever one you did and here's the fruit update i was talking about when you breed mysterious seeds now you get 30 to 40 fruits so they've doubled it uh the combat xp gains from life skilling are here uh basically the higher you get in the higher and later levels they've increased for that and then uh same with fishing, and they increased it by a lot. Horse taming, they've increased it by a lot, and farming quite a bit too. So they times ten to everything. I don't care so much about Arena of Solaire. They basically ended it and are passing out the uh, the awards. They've made it a little easier to get into the adventure logs, which are very important. And the huge update for Dragon Scales, which I guarantee you this is going to see a Dragon Scale sellout. Yep. All gone immediately. And that is because of the change in this. So before it was you changed 30. For 30 stack, I think it was, and then you got to change 350 for a uh, 40 stack. Now, instead, it's 20, 50, 150, and 400 from all the way from a 20 stack, 30 stack, 40 stack, and 50 stack. So, basically, the big change is you can change 150 of them for a 40 stack instead of uh, 350 of them for a 40 stack, which is pretty dang good. That's a huge, huge buff. I may actually, instead of crafting my 40 stacks, I may just go this route and farm the silver and buy it before. Before I was looking at uh, building fail stacks. I think when I'm done with all of that, I think I'll just buy dragon scales. Um, party elixirs, they've made a method of changing the green to the blue. So that's a good thing. And then here's the thing I was talking about with the warehouse. They've reduced the uh, armor uh, weight. All the weight of stuff that has been listed on the market. Alright, so that is a huge, huge change. Uh, the thing... So basically when it's been loaded in... Um, they reduced it a huge amount and that's helps with like especially these items that aren't belonging to any category these things add up so when you got like a thousand or two thousand of the relic shards in there because you, they don't stack anywhere else you know it, it's that's it's how i use it for my storage and reducing that that helps a lot uh they made a few other little changes there They've also improved the skip to cutscenes. So that'll help with the seasons if you've already got a, um, if you've already ran through all that stuff, that'll help. Prove some node and conquest war stuff. 
uh, not that big a deal if you're not into Conquest War. So that's mainly all the stuff that they've, the big things that they've done. Uh, they got a few other issues here that they fixed, just kind of uh, quality of life stuff and just actual issues. Now, the events. The events, the events, the important events. Uh, so you're going to daily ticket. You want to turn it into Laura, you get entered in a raffle, basically, and uh, you'll have a chance to win 7,000 pearls. That runs for the next two weeks. You can click on Find Out More, and it'll, it'll give you a little bit, basically the same thing. So, you got a huge thing. You just got to go and take your daily thing and turn it in. Not a big deal at all. Special event ticket. That you get each day from your challenges, which is the Y button by default. Uh, we already went over the main event, which is the 700, 70, 70, 70 for seven years. Um, get out there and grind for the next two weeks. Uh, we also get special login rewards, which we've had for like a week now. They put it in early, uh, so you should have already collected some of those. I'm not going to go over those. Uh, they're inviting you to the um, seventh anniversary party. You can get a 7th anniversary box if you take the um, ticket tour to over to Laura. Which I'll be participating in because I want this 70 stack. I don't know what the cakes do. Uh, and then depending on when your family was created, when you join the game, you can get a special title. Let's see, how do you get... Okay, so you need to do a basically a quest. 70 beer, obtain wish of power of fortune, get your invitation and go back, exchange your invitation for the box. Cool. It seems pretty straightforward. Uh, they're spawning Garmouth more times this week. Which is a good thing if you're into Garmouth. I need to go get a Garmouth heart, so maybe I'll visit those if I get time. And we got some Twitch drops. Don't really care about that. This one interested me. The Verity of the Crow Merchants Guild. They're opening a special shop and they're traveling in between the big uh, cities. And chat will tell you when, but for 100 silver you can get this stuff. And then for a million silver you can get these boxes, which... Some of them, I don't really care so much about the first three, the, the tier 9 materials. They're always nice to have, but eh. Uh, expansion coupon times two. I don't know what that means. That is weird to me. That's interesting. Uh, the seal that looks good. The the artisan memory. The sh shiny box of life looks good. The shiny box of combat looks good. And the other mount stuff looks okay for a million silver. So, I might buy some of those if I can find their shop. And, of course, the warm black tea is always good. Um, memory fragment box, that's always good. That's a big discount. You get that for 100 silver, you get 10 of them. Uh, 10 mem memory fragments for 100 silver. That, that's huge savings. That's like, what, 30 million silver for 100 silver? Um, let's see, what else? Oh, the, the seals. Yeah, the ones that I just got from fishing. Uh, that I showed a second ago. So you grab your seals, you want to defeat monsters, you want to gather, you want to fish, uh, and you also get some daily through the challenges menu, and then you want to exchange them with Igor, Vitaly, and Velia. Uh, where are the numbers at? Okay, we see these, we see these, 90 minutes, 120 minutes of playtime. Ooh, those are good. The Awaken the Sonal Siege Captain Scrolls. I'll be collecting those because they give you tons of enhancement materials, which I need. Uh, bring them to you and you can get, okay, but, okay, here we go. Here's the exchange. Um, 50 of them you can exchange for a golden aggers times five. That's very good. I want those. Old moon trade pass. You take it or leave it. It only happens one for one transaction. You get 5% more silver. 5% is not much. It's not like you remove 5% tax. You know, you get taxed and then it increases what you get by 5%. So you're actually only getting like 2% or something. That's rough math. Don't don't take that too serious. 
Uh, the horse tier eight, that might pre be pretty good because it's already got three of the courser skills. And life XP transfer coupon. You can get one. So you can either transfer processing, fishing, trading, alchemy, or cooking. Uh, and then the other ones, training, gathering, farming, sailing, hunting, bartering. So you can only get one or two. Man, I don't know. that Getting coupons like these here makes me uh, kind of curious on switching, maybe permanently switching characters. You know, I really love my wizard, but they have really did wizard dirty lately. And don't get me wrong, Awakening is in pretty good spot. Uh, spot in terms of PvE, but Awakening sucks in PvP and Succession kind of sucks in PvE. So, uh, moving on. And if you want to trade 50, you can get uh, one of the, the tier 9 mats times 50. Okay, so Seal of Wanderlust times 30, you get a Spectre's Energy, that's 30 mil. Uh, Patrigo's Apparel Bag, that's pretty good for 20. Mystical Feather, don't, uh, if you're not doing tier 10 horse, uh, attempts, that's kind of a waste. Krog Dollar Horse Gear, Crafting Box, well, if it was actually a horse gear, it might be good, but the Crafting Box, eh. Corrupt Oil of Immortality, those could be good. And just your general mem frags, support scrolls, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then now we've got some Jatina Golden Seal as well that you can get through I guess just playing hold on yeah you get them from just playing for 90 or 120 minutes or whatever you can change them for a shiny box those things have been around for forever so there is that event and that's the end of the events of course if you don't own the game and you're playing on free you can get the traveler edition for free um and then move on up you know it's like 70 percent off everything so that's pretty cool the base game is free instead of 10 bucks and then they go over the fishing event so that's kind of that, that doesn't sit well with me because i really 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 like fishing and so i would just leave my guy up fishing and I really wanted to do that this time with the Colacanths, but since it's season, my wizard, my main fisher that has all the fishing mastery that, you know, and the fishing rods and all that stuff that makes my auto fish time go down. Well, can't be used because it can only happen on a season server and I don't like transferring my gear. Yeah, I know, first world BDO problems can't transfer my stuff because I'm just too lazy to do it. But um, they have improved the season a little bit, which is nice. I don't know what all of the... Let's look at this. So here is the season pass this time. And then, of course, you can buy the Black Spirit Pass, which is a secondary... Fugar's riding crop, so yeah, that's fine. Let's scroll on down, because that's all standard stuff. I see. Fugar's fishing rod, that's why they want... They have added that in. They want you to fish with that. I wonder if that can be repaired. I'm guessing it probably can. So it looks like pretty standard stuff. Frozen Tides, you can enhance this... Um, Guaranteed pen, right? For an accessory and for a weapon. And, of course, you get all the stacks. I may just go through the season just to get the stacks. The 60s, 70s, and 80s stacks are very beneficial for me. I probably won't buy the Black Spirit Pass. I don't care so much to spend, even though it's going to double my stacks. I'm just uh, I'm not all about that. 250 stacks... 340 stacks and then you also get um there's 330 stacks as well uh, and then if you spend some of those stacks and get uh further through fugar always gives you or fugar fugar whatever the hell his name is he always gives you those quests for even better and then you get like 60 stacks out of it so that's probably what i'm going to be gunning for 
it's easier than ever this time because they they reduce the um kill the weekly kill quest from 5000 down to 500 so it's it's even easier and it won't take hardly any time but uh i think i'm going to probably make a ninja and then i'm going to delete my archer let's swap back over here so i can look i i'm i'm basically trying to rectify the fact that not everybody's 60 and these guys are going to take so long to level up from 53 and 55 and 54 and stuff so i've got an extra um character slot right right here i'm gonna make a ninja play through the whole season with it and then i'm gonna delete this guy level 54 this stupid archer that i just can't stand and use the timepiece on him so that uh he is level 60 so i'll have two more level 60 characters and then slowly i am fixing the issues here i've got a 57 which i'll probably just leave him i may not though i may end up next season uh getting rid of him and also this guy the striker and then uh that'll put everybody at 60 minus this guy but the only reason i don't want to get rid of this guy I was going to and i started cleaning out his inventory but he has like all the inventory slots. I've been using inventory slots on him. So I just kind of have to level him up to 60 the hard way. Which isn't even that hard anymore. Uh, but this guy and this guy. Next season I'll probably play a Sage. Get him leveled. And then uh, delete this striker. And uh, use the timepiece on him. So I'll have two more 60s. And then this season I'm deleting this guy. And making the ninja so i'll have every male character at 60 at that point minus the um the hash hash hashing they always make you sound like you have a lisp when you say that but that's how it's spelled um and so we'll we'll just do like that and hopefully that'll give me a little bit more family fame here uh, with the combat fame and we'll bump that up a little bit every every day uh, the life skill and the special fame I'm working on I'd love to get to the 4,000 mark but it's going to take a whole lot more for that um, but that's the plan and I hope that helps kind of sort everything out I know I kind of rambled a little bit here and there but uh, I wanted to give a brief overview of the major things that they were doing so I guess to kind of sum up New spring season, everything's focused on fishing, huge amounts of events, 700% everything, um, as far as combat goes, 70% of everything else, and we got a lot of, uh, a lot of nice login rewards and a lot of nice changes as far as just free stuff. Um, so, there you have it. I got a lot of other stuff I got to go do, so I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a good rest of your day, and as always, until next time.